What's up everybody? This is Venom vs. Carnage here. Um, this is actually going to be my video submission for the MP14 Summer Anime Contest that they're having right now. Um, I'm actually just going to do a full room tour this time. Usually you guys only see my anime and manga corner, which we're looking at right now. I'm going to just scroll over it again because it has been a while since I've done my first full collection video whenever I first started my channel and I haven't gotten a whole lot since then but I've gotten enough that I've had to change the organization of the shelves a bit this is definitely an ever growing and ever moving anime collection I always have to keep organizing it because I, I am one of those people I really like to have it all in alphabetical order whenever I can if I can't then I will survive but it tends to bother me. It's the anime. Going over here to the manga now. Uh, got my little Gara plushie right next to my Fire Fist Ace figure. Have a Aburai Renji from Bleach figure there and a Sasuke plushie. Uh, PS3 controller chargers up there. This is a little hard to see because the lighting in my room is not very good but top row of manga. Now these ones are smaller series or series that I've stopped collecting for whatever reason. Here is probably one of my favorite animes ever, Berserk. I still have to get the latest volume of that. And D. Grayman, which I still am loving, but takes forever for new volumes to come out anymore. I know they went to a different format so instead of the weekly when it was in Shonen Jump, it's now the monthly format. Like I said, we've been th over most of this before. I went and reorganized these shelves a little bit. Manga I can never keep alphabetically because I, it tends to not have the same series on the same shelf for well, think different things like that, and that tends to bother me. Got. My Death Note messenger bag here. Uh, my camera wants to focus for me. Wolfwood wall scroll. And then over here we have my Kenshin wall scroll. Let me try to zoom in. I'll see if I can't get it to focus. Ray Ayanami wall scroll. That's right next to my bed here. Here I've got, I'm very guilty for always starting to read new books and never finishing them. I'm probably like halfway through all of these books here. This is my back catalog of American comics that I need to read still. I have been so busy with other things, watching anime, playing games, that I haven't been able to read a lot of my weekly comics lately. A uh, couple stuffed animals there, mostly that my girlfriend got me. I got this Laboon plushie though here at San Diego Comic Con last year. And then here we have my American cartoon DVDs, which most of them are superhero shows or movies, Justice League, different things like that. And that goes down into my live action TV shows, which I don't have a lot of. And that goes, these are going to be pretty hard to see, but my small collection of Blu-rays are down here. And then I go into my regular live-action movies. Got a small collection here in the corner of some different Asian, Korean, Japanese movies there. Uh, here I have hanging all of the different badges for conventions that I've gone to. My San Diego Comic-Con badge couple Otakon badges, and pretty much everything in the back. I'm from the Pittsburgh area, so I've gone to all the first ten Takosha Cons. Didn't go this past year because the show's been kind of going downhill, but maybe I'll go again next year. We'll see how things go. Uh, those are all novels that I have to read still. Here I've got a dot hack, Black Rose Wall Scroll, hanging behind my TV, which is also my PC monitor. have some 
little mini Dragon Ball Z figures. And these little cars here are actually, if I can get the focus on them, Sega put these out. Space Channel 5, Shinobi, this one's my favorite here, the Jet Set Radio Future, and then House of the Dead 3, little cars, picked those up, I can't remember when. Got my Blu-ray player, my Wii with my GameCube controller, PS2, and then my mess of cords. Uh, my PS3 here down on the bottom, and I always keep on the bottom here the current anime box set which I, that I'm watching through, which right now is first season of Inuyasha, and current game that I'm playing, which The Last of Us, which is absolutely fantastic, and if you have a PS3, I definitely recommend picking it up. Just gonna go right along the bottom here now to my PC, stereo, speakers, external hard drives, and now here we get into my some of my games. I have a lot more DS games. They're actually underneath my bed though because I don't have any more shelf space for them. But second row of PS3 games, Wii games, and I've got these little Sailor Moon bottle cap figures which the little Luna one's my absolute favorite out of the ones that I have gotten. Uh, Bullet Bill, Luigi. These here are playing cards, anime playing cards. I got a Sayuki, Sailor Moon. I've picked these up at different conventions. Death Note. When I first started going to conventions, I this is my favorite one, Soul Eater. I was picking up pretty much one every convention that I had gone to. I kind of stopped doing that though for a while. That Soul Eater one was my most recent one. Uh, yes, some My Little Pony figures. I have the replica of the State Alchemist, Full Metal Alchemist watch here. Some more PS3 games as you can see behind them. Crusher Pokeball. These actually are Pokemon badges from the Con Kanto region. My current girlfriend got those for me online for my birthday. Got Foxhound um, Mug. D. Gray Man and Dragon Ball Z Trunks mug there. The rest of my PS3 games, Unifigure. That is Makoto from Love Hina and Riku from Final Fantasy X2. Got a little mud hip mudkip figure here that my friend actually bought for me at the Pokemon Center in Japan whenever he went. Uh, this little box here, if you're familiar with Hit Hitman Reborn, this is the, their boxes and the ring that they have. That one's Yamato Yamato's. Uh, Final Fantasy VII figures, my Game Boy Advance, a couple more, those are glow in the dark, my little pony figures. Final Fantasy VII, more Final Fantasy VII figures. Then my PS2 games that I still have. Some up there, and then above those are the small collection of GameCube games that I have. Up here, I have a can't really see it because of the glare. Uh, it's a Kingdom Hearts Cloud Strife figure, though. My limited edition boxes for Atelier Rorona and the first hyperdimensional Neptunia. This is really cool. I kept the empty can for this. They had a Mega Man energy drink, the Mega Man E tanks, which I have, I did drink it, but figured I would keep the box. Uh, this one's just mostly empty figure boxes, couple books, that kind of thing. Now here I moved all my larger omnibus and viz big graphic novels over to here. There's my card capture Sakura books, my Nanaha figures, and my some of my Dragon Ball Z figures here in front of the Dragon Ball Z big Viz Bigs, of course. Then come down here, I've got a couple of the D-Arts Mega Man figures, which are absolutely amazing, and I want to get the new couple new ones that are coming out. They're standing in front of my volumes of Kenshin, Van Dance and the Vampire Bund, and Bubble Suit Gundam. Um, then here we have my American comic graphic novels, uh, if you can see him, Batman from the Arkham, City's Ar Arkham City Collector's Edition. 
through my Marvel Masterwork trade paperbacks. Battering from the first Arkham Asylum collector's edition that Battering came from. Uh, these are individual comics that I still have to file. And coming down here, these are my Ultimate Spider-Man comics and a couple DC comics. Behind all of my current, I've been collecting the new 52 Justice League figures that have been coming out. Which have been pretty nice figures. And more American comics down here, as well as some in the corner there. Dungeons and, Dragon bo Dungeons and Dragons books and things like that. I do enjoy some tabletop role-playing games every now and then. Uh, and I believe that's about it. We've gone full circle here. Only other thing I didn't show would be underneath my bed here, my American comic long boxes. I've got my bed on risers so I can just slide them under my bed whenever I'm not using them. And that's about it. Thanks for joining me guys and hopefully I'll see you again pretty soon with another video.